If you guys are looking for super cheap and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got 24-7 support. Guys, don't waste your money on packs. Hit up the sponsor. Use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off of your entire order. What's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the top 10 most overpowered players in Madden 21 Ultimate Team. Now, guys, this top 10 list, before anyone cries, if your player that you like is not on here, it does not mean they're not good. It just means based on what I've seen and played with, yes, I have played the game, just not on Xbox. I played a lot of it on PS4, a lot of it on PC. But from what I've seen and what I've versed and what I've played with, these kind of guys like I'm going to say later in the video probably, if you guys like any of these players you do see on this list and they're too expensive, check out my sponsor down below in the description, Mutt Reserve. If you use code Poodle at checkout, you get 15% off and it'll be probably the cheapest coins on the market right now. Make sure you go use them. Pick up the players you want, build your god squad, don't waste money on packs, but let's get into it. Work I compiled for being the top 10 most overpowered players. Now, coming in at number 10, guys, but before actually, before we get into that, if you are into the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn that on to bell, boys. We are about 40 subs away from reaching our goal of 22k, so make sure you guys do go down below. Come join the family. Make sure to smash the like button. If we get 150 likes in this video, we'd be very happy. Hit the like button, especially if you're loyal and want to help the channel out. And comment down below who's your most overpowered player, number one, that you've played with so far. Not who you think it is, who have you played with. Coming in at number 10, we got Justin Smith. And for the 49ers, one of the team diamonds. This card is one of the few cards that does get edge threat if powered up. So by himself, he's still a great card. Has 88 block shed, has 88 power move, has 88 play rec, has 89 tackle. But if you power him up, he does get edge threat, which pretty much makes you a really overpowered pass rusher and is one of the most dominant, if not the most dominant ability in Madden 21 right now. So again, you have to power him up, but he's already almost there. All you really got to do is power the power up, up put him in. Uh, not sure how expensive these power-ups are right now. By himself, he's still one of the most overpowered cards. But getting that extra ability would be super, super beneficial. And at number 9 in the list is Andre Johnson, guys. I personally am obsessed with this guy so far. In my gameplay, if you guys saw, he had like 5 touchdowns, 400 yards. This guy's super, super overpowered. I cannot stress this enough. But the extent of his overpoweredness does come at a catching cost, which means like... He's going to make catches for you. But are there games where he may not come down with all those catches? It's possible. So he's not going to be like from game to game just killing people. That's where the speed comes in. Like a guy like Tyree Kill where you know game to game that speed will be there regardless of what the other guy does. Andre Johnson would have been higher on this list if he had a little bit more speed. Because yes, he will catch almost everything you throw at him. But it comes at a lack of speed to an extent compared to like a guy like I mean, he's still crazy fast regardless. But point is, definitely super overpowered. He's a complete monster at 6'3". But... If he had a little more speed, would have probably been like top three on this list. But he's super solid, 86 speed, 87 agility, 87 excel, 87 catching, 89 jumping, 88 stamina. He's got 80 juke, 86 carrying, 85 short out running, 86 medium, 83 deep, 88 catching traffic, 87 spec catch. Guys, he's going to be a monster all year long. Honestly, probably like him more than I did Tory Holt because he's going to be a big, big target to make a lot more contested catches than Holt could. But let's get into the next one. Next on the list, guys, we have Lamar Jackson. Now, Lamar Jackson... Two things here. First, he's super cheap now. Second, he's free for people who got MVP. So you either have him or you don't. If you don't, he's super cheap. Now, Lamar Jackson is the best quarterback in Madden to me for a simple reason. The speed. Speed is game changing. When you play against him, guys, he can scramble out the pocket and almost anyone chasing him. Still make the pass. And he throws pretty well considering his stats. Not to mention if you power him up. And eventually when everything comes down, he's going to have above a 90 speed at some point very in the very near future. Whether you do it with Sprinter, whether he gets a new card at some point. Either way, going to be crazy ridiculous. So, going to be one of the best quarterbacks all year. Of course, he's the cover of Madden. And he's free for a lot of people. So, I highly recommend you pick him up. Super, super great. One of my favorite quarterbacks i played with. Don't get me wrong. Mahomes is phenomenal. But Mahomes just can't run, which is just in mutt specifically. With everyone getting all these overpowered pass rushers. It's very hard to sit in the pocket sometimes. And I just think you got to have a Lamar on your team. Next on the list, coming in at number seven is Elvis Dumerville, guys. Now, Elvis, Elvis Dumerville, outside linebacker for the Broncos. He is super, super good. 88 finesse move, 79 speed, 84 power move, 87 play rec, 87 tackle, 86 excel. Guys, this card, if you power him up just like the Justin Smith card, will end up getting edge threat. Edge threat is one of the most overpowered abilities in Madden, and a lot of people online who have figured that out have had an Elvis Dumerville card and realizing how dominant he is. He's practically, he's pretty much just a better version of Von Miller for the Broncos. If you have a Broncos themed team, you're loving Von and Elvis on both sides. I'm telling you guys, overpowered as hell. Do not want to go up against an Elvis Dumerville fully powered up with edge threat. But for the most part, guys, you're probably going to see him online at some point. Get ahead of the game. He's not that expensive, although you will have to go ahead and power him up, which again, for those uh, team diamonds, could end up being a little bit more pricey in terms of getting him all the way up there. I don't know the exact values. The training course is kind of expensive right now. But coming in number six on the list, we got Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald 
like always, guys, there's multiple reasons why he's up here. He just goes ahead and dominates from the first day of Madden to the last day of Madden. Always going to be one of the best ends in the game. 87 power move, 87 block shot, 88 play rec, 86 finesse move. Not And 90 strength. Not many ends or any kind of pass rushes are that well-rounded. He can finesse. He can do power. He can stop the run. And he recognizes plays. And he's strong. Not many guys. And 82 excel is pretty solid. Not many guys have all that combination. He's the jack of all trades. That's good at all of them, too. Power him up. Cam him up. Do what you got to do. He doesn't need to be powered up. But, of course, it always helps to get a guy like Aaron Donald powered up all year. So, definitely go ahead and do that. I'm really a big fan of Donald. Again, I will be picking up all these players once I'm able to actually play on my account. Uh, finally, it's been what feels like months, even though it's only been like five days. But, still feels like forever. Now, coming in in the next on the list at number five is Asante Samuel. If you guys have played Madden long enough or have watched real-life football, you know who Asante Samuel is. One of the better cornerbacks to ever play. Super, super good. Now, in Madden, he's a complete goon, guys. He gets 90 zone coverage, 83 man coverage, 89 play rec, 85 jumping. He gets, oop, I skipped out of there, 89 speed, which is crazy good, 89 excel. Going to be able to keep up with all the burners. Uh, power him up, of course, come him up, and he's going to get above 90 speed. Going to get above a 90 zone by a lot. Get the 90 play rec threshold. He's going to be great at recognizing plays, jumping routes, making big plays in pretty much any moment of the game. And from what I've heard, from what I've seen, and from people that have actually played with him, claiming he's the best cornerback in this game right now, which he probably is, but Sonny Samuels is just super, super overpowered, and he has the speed to keep up with guys like Tyree Kill and all those other guys you're going to come across. Um, next on the list, guys, is a guy that, if you can't afford Barry, this is pretty much where you're going, and that's going to be Warwick Dunn, who's not up here right now. Number three, guys, is Isaiah Simmons. You guys cannot discount how good this player is on the field. 90 speed, 90 excel, 82 tackle. 82 play rec, 85 pursuit, 78 man, 80 zone, 88 hit power. Like the perfect hybrid corner, kind of like a better version of Jamal Adams with that zone, the hit, and the speed. And he's got the height too, which just adds on to the whole package here. Where he is, I believe, where is his height? Where does it say it? I can't see it, but I know. Oh, 6 foot 4, it's right there. Super tall, super great guy. You have to do the work premiere set, or you have to buy him. He is super expensive, of course, but the price you pay for great players. Now, this guy is just going to be all over the field for you. Going to make great plays. You can use him if you'd like. Uh, there's just nothing about this car that just doesn't scream like one of the best defensive players in Madden I really do like this car. Wish it changed direction was a little bit better in terms of usering But at the end of the day, he's still gonna be a great card regardless of where you use him Either it be at linebacker at safety. I mean linebacker is probably even more beneficial But don't get me wrong safety is definitely a good spot for him as well If you want to just keep him where he goes or a big nif no big nickel safety in the box Either way, you're going to be getting a great value for him and he's gonna play great Coming to number two is Tyree Kill Guys, there's not much else to say. Like, Tyree Kill is a man. He's a man amongst boys. He's just too fast. It's very, even defensive players who have his speed to rubber, because defensive players have to, like, chop down, take an angle. Tyreek, with one little swerve move or just run around you, can completely kill your momentum. And without momentum, Tyreek's going to start the foot race before you. So you stop and go. By the time the foot race starts up again, Tyreek just already has too much field on you. It's too, he's too good. And this year, to make it even worse, they gave him 87 deep route running, which he never gets good route running start the year. Which has just made it so easy to go ahead and put him on streaks from anywhere in the field. He's in the slot, streak him. Anywhere you want. Cover three beater, in the slot, streak him. Anything you want to do with deep routes, deep post, he's just super good at it now. Which is great because it was always kind of annoying that Tyree can only catch open passes and then take it to the house from there. But he could never like actually be play. He couldn't play wide receiver for you. Like you had him there, you'd be looking at like, you do streaks, but he wasn't that great at him. You do deep post, but like his routes weren't too good. But now, he feels even better than he ever felt. That's probably why his, you know, price is reflecting that. But coming in at number one, guys, number four, guys, is Warwick Dunn. Warwick Dunn is super solid, guys. He is the exact option of what you're going to want if there's no Barry Sanders in your in your future. 88 speed, 89 excel, 89 agility, 89 carrying, 89 change of direction, 86 break tackle. He's pretty much Barry Sanders, but toned down just a little bit. Remember, you can power him up, so you can get him up to an 89 speed, 90 excel, 90 agility, 90 carrying, 90 change of direction, 87 break tackle. He's like he's like a toned down Barry, and he's really not that far apart. I think he's like a minus two speed on Barry. It's really not bad at all, guys. This work done is super solid. I've heard great things about him. I played against him, and people say he's almost just like Barry. And when I play him again, he's gonna he's my defense wasn't that great on the teams I've been playing with, so definitely noticeable his speed difference and of course until there's better and faster defensive players out him and barry are going to continue to just wreck the field just like mark sound did last year but i really do like this work done definitely consider him his price point is a bit high but it's not too much more than guys like mccaffrey so in terms of that work done is definitely better guys first on the list is barry sanders little barry guys if you watch my gameplay he's absolutely crazy if you want to see how good he is finish this video go on my channel video almost has like 10,000 views already people really enjoyed it 
Check out the Barry Sanders gameplay. Was an awesome, fun time. Clearly the most dominant player in Madden right now by a long shot. 91 speed, 94 excel, 94 agility, 94 change of direction, 92 ball carry vision, 92 juke, 92 spin, 88 carrying, and 92 break tackle. Unbelievable. Put evasive on him. Put balance beam on him. Great card. But guys, that is about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that on, my boys. You hope join the family. Let's get 22k as quickly as possible. Let's get 200 likes in this video. And I'll drop another list like this. Maybe overrated though, instead of overpowered. And guys, before we get out of the video, if you want to pick up any of these cards on the list, and you guys see that they're too expensive, look no further than my sponsor, ButtReserve.com. With my coupon code, you will be getting the cheapest price on the internet. Don't waste your coin. Don't waste your money on packs. I promise you, you get a lot more for your money. You can pick up millions of coins for a lot cheaper than packs cost. Go use discount code Poodle, 50% off, guys. It helps me out a ton. And, of course, it helps you guys save money. So, make sure you go check that out. Be in the link down below in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.